I had my first child and all I wanted to do was stay at home with him. But at 12 weeks old, I had to hand him over to a stranger to be cared for so I could go back to my minimum wage job. I was missing out on everything. He was growing up at daycare, not with me. I knew I wanted to be a business owner. I saw on social media what was possible and um, I knew if they could do it, so could I. I saw that embroidery was becoming very popular in this modern and exciting way and I knew hand embroidery. So I got very excited and picked up my needle again. That first year I worked really hard. I opened the shop right after I had my um, second baby. So basically I had two babies, my business and her. Um, I had very little left for my family and nothing for myself. I worked all day, all night, and no weekends, no days off. I was sitting on the floor in the middle of the night with a pillow behind my back, stitching embroidery hoops. It was, everybody was sleeping and I was just so tired. The saddest part in that whole year of working like this, I didn't make any money. So I decided to start a new chapter, streamline my processes. Uh, my second year, I was able to replace my old income and double it. And in my third year, I reached uh, six figures in my business. I made it all happen here in this little corner of my living room. It's not a sprint, it's definitely a marathon and there's no overnight success. Um, you gotta roll up your sleeves and get to work. Um, and if you remember your passion and you have that determination, I think you, could, you can get to where you want to be.